Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a HP or Hewlett Packard printer with an alternate driver on your Windows 10 computer if you have a USB connection. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. So just left click on the start button one time. And you want to type in device is and the best match that comes up should say devices and printers right above control panel. You want to left click on that one time to open that up. Now you want to left click on add a printer button right here. More than likely there's nothing that's going to populate this list. So you would select the printer that I want isn't listed. And then you're going to select add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Select next again. Use an existing port, make sure it's set to LPT1 printer port. Select next again. So now underneath manufacturer you want to go down to HP and you want to find the appropriate model name on the right side here for printers. Please note if your printer is not listed in the list of printers right here, you want to left click on Windows Update. However, if we can find our printer over here, you want to select next. At this point you can name the printer whatever you want. We're going to just keep it the default name here. And then select next again. I recommend clicking this finish button at the bottom of this window once it's done installing. Now you want to locate the printer in devices and printers. We see my printer is called an HP LaserJet Enterprise. I'm going to right click on that. And then I'm going to left click on printer properties. Please note, I'm not clicking on properties down here, I'm clicking on this printer properties. Now I'm going to left click on the ports tab at the top. Now if you see anything, if you scroll down, there might be a USB port, USB virtual port. You would left click inside that box and then click on apply and OK. However, I do not have one listed here, but if you had a USB 002 or USB 001, 003, 004, depending on how many USB ports you had, it would be listed in here. You'd want to check mark those boxes as well. So anything that had USB in it, you want to check mark inside and click on apply and OK. And the last thing I want to do is if we close out all these windows, we want to head over and we want to go into the start menu again and type in computer management. And it should be listed right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that one time. You want to left click on device manager on the left side here. Now since you'd be using an old printer, it'd probably be listed underneath network adapter so it would say other devices you would expand that view. Again, I'm just giving an example here because I don't have it here, but you more than likely would say other devices and then it would have the HP printer listed underneath and then you would just right click on it and then left click on update driver software. Again, you'd want to do that for your HP printer. Then you want to left click on browse my computer for driver software and then select let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And since you'd be underneath a printer window, you'd have the option again to go through the manufacturer and the information about the printer would be on the right side. You would select the correct printer model and then you would click on next. Once you've done that, you would install the driver software. It'd be pretty straightforward. And it should say Windows has successfully updated your driver software. You can click on close at this point and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.